Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to sharpen your M9 bayonets. These have this is a standard M9 bayonet. This one is a this one's made by Frobus. And I want to show you how to get this thing razor sharp. There's a little little secret, little tip, little trick I want to show you, but first I want to talk about the steel for a minute. This is 425 modified. Now, originally when they first started making these bayonets back in 1986-87, well, they started in 86, they were making the Buckmaster. The Buckmaster 184 survival knife. And then Mickey Finn and Buck got together because it was Mickey Finn's design and Buck started making this bayonet for the military. They made 300 something thousand units in 1987. But initially when all this got started and they were making the Buckmaster 184 they needed a steel that not only was it cost effective but it was they could machine it. It's all about being able to machine it and not being hard on their on their dies and their their lace and different than you know all the machines they used to make it. So they picked 425 modified. Now originally they had 420 stainless steel. And they call it modified because what they did was they added a little bit more carbon to it. So everybody knows that carbon cuts. So with this 425 modified you have anywhere between four, uh, 0.46 to 0.54 percent carbon and around 12 to 13 percent chromium. So what that gives you, it's actually a medium carbon, but it gives you enough carbon that you can get an edge on there, and you, of course you've got the chromium for stainless protection. So uh, that, with that said, I just want you to know that when you get these sharp, these, these bayonets with this 425 modified, the edge retention on them, you know, they don't stay sharp too long. So when you start getting into higher carbon content, not only do you get a better knife that cuts, it's easier to sharpen, but the, that edge will last longer. So I just wanted you to understand that. Now see, because when they issue these, you get a band, you know, this, this, this sheath that it comes in, this Durlin hard plastic sheath, it has a sharpen stone on the back. That's fine for the field. You can get uh, somewhat of a decent cutting edge but you're not going to be able to get this kind of steel razor sharp unless, guess what? The standard kitchen stainless steel sharpening rod. That's the secret. So you guys probably thought, oh, he's got a stone there, he's going to use the stone. No, we're not going to use the stone. Now, of course, I have a technique that I do with the stone where you go in this S shape. And that's great. You can, it will sharpen these in these bayonets pretty sharp but if you really want to get them razor sharp with a cut paper then you're going to need to do the sharpen stone. Now we're going to go over and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay now first thing you got to do is inspect the blade with your thumb. What I do is I just come down here real lightly and I go down the blade and I, every, about every inch I'll check and see I feel. And What I'm feeling for is how that grabs my thumb, how sharp that blade feels. And then I'll do this side. So what we're checking for, what I'm checking for is to feel if that working edge at the microscopic level is symmetrical. Now by just looking at it, it looks symmetrical and of course it's pretty close to symmetrical but by feeling it you can tell if it's asymmetrical. So asymmetrical means it's folding over one side more than the other. So as I inspect this blade, I can tell you this side needs to go, <coughs> excuse me, it needs to go over more. So I'm going to swipe it one time, just once. That feels about right. So you want it to feel the same. Once you get it symmetrical, that's it. Once you get it symmetrical, now 
just lay your bar like this on something. I like to lay it on a piece of wood, this post here. And then we're going to have it at a 20 degree angle. And you're going to swipe at that sharpening rod back and forth, 20 degree angle, both sides. Let's check. Nice. Nice. Wow. So see how I, I I didn't even spend that much time on it. A lot of guys are getting on these stones and they're they're spending 10, 15, 20 minutes on an item that, and it's they're just they can't figure out why their knife won't get sharp. It's because first off, initially when they started sharpening it, their working edge was asymmetrical. So once you figure out how to check and get your blade symmetrical, centered up, that working edge, once you figure that out, then you do this technique that I'm doing with the sharp rod, you'll, you can get these razor sharp. It doesn't take three minutes. Okay guys? That feels beautiful. I mean it's this thing is going to slice paper. Watch this. And just lightly, it doesn't take much. You got to realize this 425 modified. It's not as hard. It's not as hard as you think it is. That's why they use it. It's easier to machine. It doesn't take much. Sometimes it only takes one or two swipes. Okay, so that blade. It laid over a little bit more on me on this side, so I'm going to just swipe it one time here and check it. It's got to be perfectly symmetrical, or it's not going to slice. It's not going to get razor sharp to slice that paper. And you, once you, the more you do this, like how I'm doing it with my thumb the better you'll get at it. You'll be able to get really good at figuring out which side needs more swipes than the other and you'll be able to get your blade razor sharp and, it, and it'll, it'll last for a while in the field. It'll last for a while doing stuff but you know just know this 420 by my it, it you know you gotta resharpen it uh, more often. So we're there. This thing's sharp. So check this out. I'm going to wipe my blade off a little bit with that oil. Here we go.